Hello everyone, so today we're gonna do a very big unboxing video. I have a couple things that I've been wanting to open and honestly I don't think I'm gonna get to review them anytime soon. Hopefully, we'll see. So I just kinda want to open them, get the unboxing out of the way and um, I can play around with them. So let's put these away, I'll save these for the end. Finally, after a couple months, the uh, Kiramei silver stuff arrived. Let's start with let's start with NECA. Let's start with NECA. So originally, I had these pre-ordered on Entertainment Earth. I ended up finding them at Target uh, the other day when I went. Yeah, I'm more excited about the uh, the Heisei one. Actually, let's look at the packaging first. So here we have. Uh, Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Mega Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Godzilla Mosra Mecha Godzilla Tokyo SOS. And then you have a nice poster, poster shot on the sides. It's identical. On the back, Godzilla awakens at the bottom of the sea. One year after surviving a vicious battle against Mega Godzilla, now bearing an enormous scar from the battle, Godzilla makes landfall again. As Mechagodzilla is prepared to defend Japan once more, Mothra and the Shobijin appear and offer a vital clue to the reason why Godzilla continues to attack. Now the government must make a crucial decision. Follow the Shobijin's orders or battle both Mothra and Godzilla. That's pretty cool. I did watch the movie. Uh, I love Godzilla. Godzilla is the source of my love for Tokusatsu. So. I've been waiting for some Millennium Godzilla stuff from NECA and from uh, Bandai Hamashi for a while. And uh, honestly, NECA is so much cheaper compared to anything from Hamashi. So, here we have Godzilla. Oh, if you didn't know, I'll put a picture up. You could have opened this to kind of see what's inside. And there you have uh, Tokyo Tower. Tokyo Tower in the back, in the background. So we'll put that back in there. All right, so I hate pussy ties. So we'll take them out. Here, the tail has some restraints. Putting the tails on the knees are the hardest part. So I think I might need, actually need some hot water for this. Okay, I'll get hot water later. <laughs> but I think he looks pretty good. Get him to a decent posture. Uh, oh boy. This thing's falling apart on me. Yeah. Mecca does that sometimes, so I'll have to fiddle around with this one. Alright, well, we'll play around with it later. Ah, jeez, it's hot in here. Alright, so let's put the tray back inside. Good, put this one onto the side. Next one on the list is Godzilla vs. Biollante from 1989. You have a nice shot of the poster in the front. Some nice artwork. It's not pictures. It's not Photoshop. It's really, really nice artwork. Godzilla vs. Biollante. Biollante. Godzilla vs. Biollante. You get the logo up at the top. Poster on the side. 65th anniversary. Godzilla. Uh, emerging from the fiery, oh sorry, emerging from a fiery pit in Mount Mihara, Godzilla returns to wreak havoc once more. Drawn to Ashinoko Lake, the creature faced off against a hybrid monster created from the cells of a human, a rose, and even Godzilla. Will Godzilla's strength and power be enough to defeat the might and ferocity of Violante, or has Godzilla met its match? So again, one of the more interesting movies. I do like. Uh, the little logo up here on the top. Um, I can't really tell what that is. Up 
here. If anyone can tell me what that is, I would be very grateful. Yes. Okay. Is it still recording? Okay. Alright, so let's open. So here, we open. You get a nice shot of Godzilla. Here, the toy. Let's close that. We open. We slice. Here. Very simple. Wipes didn't cut. Pull this open. And ta da! Alright, so let's get rid of this twisty tie. So hopefully, oh, this one looks pretty cool. So I know there's uh, the Kyo, 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 or Kyo, 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 something like that. It's a monster arts figure that lights, it's lights and sound, and it's based on the um, 1989 Godzilla. And this tail is really long. So, and this one will also need hot water. Okay, we'll put hot water on this later, but I do like the face already. The hands are actually pretty cool. Ooh, I really like the hands. So we'll play around with him later. He looks kind of funny. I like the tail. Put that off to the side. That to be. Okay, so that's that. Let's take a look at this uh, Omega Ranger. So it unfortunately came in bubble packaging. Um, there was significant damage to the side here, uh, there was some damage to the corners, so that's slightly disappointing. I might get another one uh, just for the box, just so I can customize and paint one. So let's cut over here. Actually, let's look at the box first. So you get a nice picture and drawing artwork of the Omega Ranger. Nice artwork here, nice artwork there, SPD logo here, age is 4 and up. Uh, you get prototype in the back. Let's open. Oh, ooh, this is exciting. So this is sideways. Ooh, okay, there we go. So here's what you get. You get the unicycle, you get the ranger, and you get a couple pieces that connect, uh, accessories, etc. Alright, so let's take out the bike first. That went fine. Okay, I don't think I ever had this. Different types. I didn't really have the Omega Ranger. I had. Ooh, whoa, this is so small. I had um, this one, but in SWAT mode, and it used to talk, and I still have it. It's somewhere. It's hidden somewhere. And uh, I really like it mainly because um, it still speaks, and it's the longest figure that has lasted. Until now, that I have. Actually, let's take out the bike. Alright, so this thing. Is that plastic? Maybe I think that might be plastic. Alright, so let's put it up there. I know. This one already came out across. The other side of the world, and it has a couple paint errors or missing paint. Uh, I guess paint errors. So the back of this figure is very disappointing, but the front looks great. I, I love the front of this thing. Okay. Oh my goodness, I love SPD. SPD was one of my favorite seasons. So it's a lot of fun. 
um, the sprinted on, the sprinted on, they could have used the one from uh, the SPD Red Ranger, but they didn't. Hopefully we'll get another shot of this uh, with individual packaging. Is it still recording? Okay, yes. So this thing goes here. This one goes here. Go ahead. been waiting for is this one. So this one has a lot of really nice artwork of the, the Psycho Rangers. It's pretty much the same thing, just with different colors. You get red, blue, pink, yellow, black. And then on the side, you get the logo. Other side, you also get the logo. Lightning Collection box. Not much on the bottom. Let's open it up. Lightning Collection in Space Cycle Rangers. All right, and then if we open it this way, you get the story. So let's read the story. Created by Astronema to defeat the Space Rangers, the Cycle Rangers are evil, violent counterparts of the Power Rangers. Each Cycle Ranger absorbed the brainwaves of the same colored Space Ranger, becoming a perfect adversary and deadly opponent. Deadly opponent. Ooh. But that's that. And then you get all five of them. So I've really been waiting for this for the longest time. I thought this might have been a con, a con exclusive. Thankfully, it's just an Amazon exclusive. All right, so let's take out the black range. Actually, no, let's go red first. So I like red. Red. Oh, it's a little tighter than that. Okay, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll have to do it this way. All right, it smells like plastic. Why is this so hard? I thought this would be easy and I was tempted to kind of just take them out and then put them back in, but no. I realized that wouldn't have worked. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. It's like a quarter so. That explains a lot. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this way. All right, this is gonna take longer than I thought. easier. Red Psycho Ranger. Done. One. You get one hand accessory. You get lightning. One extra fist. And the sword. It's one. Ten for the others. Jesus, getting on. All right. So let's take them out now. All right, so we have the blue one. Let's take out the blue one. 
get out. Okay, arm, pull the rest of them out. Blue, get the axe, you get the fist, you get the hand. One, two, three, all right, done. Now, the ones that we haven't gotten yet. Black. Why is this so hard? You get one yellow, one yellow, you get one fist, you get one electric hand, and then you get the slingshot, ta-da, cool, and our last one, pink, we get hand, you get fist, you get Effect piece, you get a bow, and you get pink ranger. Alright, so let's tidy up. One, two, three, four. Let me put this back. Okay. Ta da! So that's that. And then you get one of each. Alright, let's stand them up. Let's make them look nice and neat. One. Exciting. Very good. One. Let's put this right there. Let's put two. The girls do have different bodies than the guys. Stand up. All right. Fine. Stay down. Red. Okay. Now I need to go. It's hot in here. Get blue. This video is already too long, so I'm not gonna post them. All right. Good. Put that there, and then black. Last one. Oop. Stand them up. Ta-da! Okay, so we have all of them. Very good. Really stoked for these. I'm really excited for these. Okay, so let's put them up to the side. Two, four, three, four, four. Oh, oh. You there, and you here. Ta-da, all right, now last one. Let's get up the Morpher, Kirame Silver. I ordered this in June, and it finally arrived after two months. Um, it wasn't by DHL, so that's why. No, I messed up. All right, I need to be careful with this thing because it's sharp. All right, here we have Kirame Silver. Oh, I'm dropping things all over the. Oh, thank God it was covered. Kirame Silver Changer. Ooh, fancy. Ooh, static. All right, and here's the strap. You get instructions. Uh, no batteries are included. I don't think so. Ooh, fancy. I'm gonna have to put batteries on this. Okay. All right. So much static. Alright. 
All right, so packaging, not that fancy. You get, actually it's pretty fancy. It's pretty much like anything Cure Ranger. You get silver here, get a nice shot of all the six of them. Oh no, five, but you get a shot of all five. Cure me silver. It says, oh. so Kirameki Henshin Brace. Cool, lights and sound. You get stuff in the back, cool. I'll read this later. So you get changer, brace, uh, battery in a little bit, and then we have this thing. Alright, let's go at the front. Actually, I'll look at the box after I take it off. This doesn't have um, a window. Okay. I really need to be more careful when I use this thing, especially on imports. Because these things are expensive to bring over to the US, especially now. Alright. So we open here. Oh, there's more. Up here. I had this problem with... Oh, there's more tape. Okay. Alright. By the way, I really like Cure Major. It's fun. Um, I understand why Sentai is not as popular as Kamen Rider. Kamen Rider Zero One is almost done. Ooh, oh. All right. So we get the instructions here. I hate it when they do that. Ah oh, no, they did it again. Oh, why do they have to tape the instructions directly onto cardboard? Why not put it in the bag? Oh no. All right. There's slight damage to the instructions, but nothing I can't live without. Alright, so we have this thing. This is the same thing. Oh, cool. Oh, it's a big thing. Oh, it's a big thing. It smells like a uh, recycled paper. I remember we had to do something before middle school. We had to take a bunch of papers, cut them up, um, use a blender, and at the end we had to make a sheet of paper out of uh, okay. To make a sheet of paper out of the recycled paper that we had. So I have to fold this, fold, fold, put that in there, put that in there. So the box says Doriru Modo de Sindo. I don't know what that means. Two modes Henkai or Henge Haipa Arm Modo. Hyper Arm Mode. You get both modes on the top. I'm tired of reading Japanese, I'm sorry. <laughs> you get silver. Nice shot of all the five. Uh, you get all the extra stuff in the back. Let's say I'll read it later. Yeah. All right, let's put this thing together. And obviously, both of them are batteries. Uh, this one slides on. Put some batteries into this thing. Oh, 
where did I leave? All right, I'll be, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put batteries on this later. <laughs> I can't find my screwdriver. I know I don't need a screwdriver, but this thing isn't enough to open it, so. Uh, next time, we'll play around with it next time. So thank you for watching this messy unboxing video, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you watch my other videos. I have a couple reviews here, a couple reviews here, you can pick whichever one you want to watch, and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.